Rob will then provide us with a demo. I'm going to go ahead and pass the control over to Rob. Here, all our modules sit within Sage 100. The two we're going to touch on today are Document Partner, which is the communication slash translation module, and Sales Partner, which is the module that takes the purchase order and integrates that and creates a sales order in Sage and then generates the EDI invoice. So I'll go through an on-demand process, but keep in mind that all the processes within Document Express can be put on a scheduler. So a little bit about this screen. You can see it has the look and feel of a mailbox with inbox, outbox, sent items, deleted in archive. This, the communication types are configurable based on what your trading partner supports. So we can add multiple vans, or if you have multiple 3PLs or uh, different AS2s, we can add to these to accommodate your trading partner. So a normal, uh, say, say you somebody wanted to go in and uh, bring in purchase orders throughout uh, during the day, they would pick the, uh, the particular communication type and click Receive. And you can see this stuff came in, and we'll bring in some orders from a different communication type. So these, these are purchase orders, and well, it, actually the system can bring in any document type regardless, as long as it's an EDI standard document. So once in a while you'll get trading partners that send you information via EDI, like an 864 or an 820. As part of the integration, we install an EDI viewer program, and I'll go into that. So you can see this is uh, just a human readable representation of the actual purchase order data that is sent by your trading partner. This is useful if you need to go back and, and reference a purchase order or, or look at a price or something, something with that nature. The system also has the ability to do a bulk printing of any of the documents that you receive in through our uh, document printing option here. Part of the process is when you receive a document in, you are required by your trading partner to send a functional acknowledgement, which is an EDI document type of 997 back to tell them that you received the document. So the way we send in our system is you select your particular communication type, and you, you know which trading partners are which communication type by, by the, the setup. So what the system will do is it'll auto-select any docu documents for that communication type and auto-highlight them for you. And all you do is click Send. And we'll send these 997s as well. So at this point, we've we've sent the, tr the trading partner the acknowledgement to tell them that we received their, their documents. So now we're getting ready to actually integrate, which is the process to create sales orders in Sage. So what I like to do is I just auto-select everything, right-click, and click integrate. <clears throat> this is just a warning message that tells us we selected non-integratable types, which are the 864 and 820, and the system will filter that out and, and not do anything with those. And here's just a little preview of the actual purchase orders that it's going to integrate.
I'm going to answer yes to this. I always recommend that everyone always answers yes to this, at least to preview it. This is our inbound purchase order audit report. It is, for lack of a better term, our inbound validation. It actually, it looks at the data within the purchase order based on the settings we came up with as we did the, the implementation and uh, scrubs the data and makes sure everything is, is correct. So I'll, I'll do a couple of these. The system can be configured that it will skip the order if there's invalid data. In these two examples, it does min malt checking, it does invalid item checking, it checks valid ship twos, it does price checking, checks for valid ship via methods, just to name a few. So at this point, these orders are within our Sage 100 system, and I'll minimize that and go into Sage sales orders, and we'll just take a look at a couple. And you can see here's all the orders we created. This one. All this data is a combination of what came in the purchase order based with our setups to create this order. A nice feature we have is any any data that's transmitted in the purchase order can be configured to come in as a comment on the sales order. It's useful if there's uh, comments or shipping information or things like that. If you have a trading partner that sends miscellaneous allowances, the system also has the ability to uh, generate those as uh, miscellaneous charge items, even though they're for negative amounts on the order. But this order is no different than had somebody gone into stage 100 and manually entered. So now I'm going to go in and generate the invoices, and we'll go through the invoice process. Now, in our system, the EDI invoices are generated as part of the, the SAGE daily sales reports and updates option. So we'll go through and update that batch. And these are just the standard SAGE sales reports that you or someone probably sees today. Now, some of these extra prompts or windows are generated by our system. I'm just going to answer no to the transaction report, but this is the standard stage report. So now we'll go back into Document Express, and we'll flip into the outbox. <clears throat> Document type 810 is the EDI invoices, and all these invoices were just generated as a result of the daily update. And the sending for the invoices is the same way we sent the 997. 
We pick our communication type. The system will auto-select for you. And we'll send these as well. And the sending and receiving and integration can all be put on a scheduler using our DM scheduler option.